Oh, you pursue us. It's a little bank. Crash landed. Okay. Oi, pessoas, tudo bom, com você. Anyway, let's crack on with it. Um, Bem-vindo de volta a um novo vídeo. Hoje vou falar sobre frases em inglês. Yeah, yeah it's going to be bloody brilliant. Um, we're going to talk about some cheeky phrases. They are going to be specifically British phrases. Um, so ones that you may hear in films, ones that you may be hear if you live in the UK. And yeah, um, let's get familiar with them and let's uh, teach you guys some British phrases. And she's the commissar, of course. Claro. And she's the commissaramos. Don't know if that's right. And she's the commissar. Se inscreve no meu canal, dá um like e eu me segue no Instagram. Fale com Jake. Primeira coisa. First word. Primeira palavra. Dodgy. Well, this is dodgy, mate. Make it talking about murder. He's talking shit. Now just get down to Brighton and finish the job. So dodgy can mean a variety of things. It can mean when someone looks a bit dodgy. It means they look a bit suspicious. Um, it's someone that you wouldn't want to walk past on a dark night. A certain area of a city can be dodgy. If you are walking around in London, I may advise you not to go to a certain area because it can be dodgy, you know. You don't want to be walking around there by yourself. You might get your phone stolen or, you know, you might get attacked or some, something like that. Uh, that would be called a dodgy area. Um, and then we also have like a bit of an, maybe like an object or, um, for example, Use this example if you had a fake ID. You look like a future pedophile in this picture, number one. Number two, it doesn't even have a first name. It just says McLovin. And it looked a bit, didn't look real. You'd say it looked a bit dodgy. And even like a fake, like a sports event, like a football ticket, maybe. If it's a fake football ticket, you might go looking at it and think, yeah, it looks a bit dodgy. I don't think it's real. Um, so dodgy can be used for a variety of things. But yeah, dodgy basically means something that's a bit a bit weird, a bit suspicious. Segunda, pissed. <laughs> so pissed we use in the UK for like when you get drunk. If you're getting drunk, you say, uh, I've got a hole in my shirt. Anyway, yeah, you feel a bit pissed or you say if you're going out for a night out and you know you're gonna be getting drunk, you say, yeah, I'm gonna get pissed tonight. Yeah, if you are drunk, then I am pissed. Um, and if you're feeling drunk, I feel pissed. Yeah, it's uh, quite quite a common one to use. We have many different words for getting drunk, um, but pissed is definitely a British specific word for getting drunk. Rubbish. So in the USA, they call this trash, um, but rubbish is something that you throw in the bin or trash. Um, but we also use this to describe something. <laughs> No, or you could say about someone who is talking, like the, the president is talking a load of rubbish. Um, he doesn't know what he's talking about. He is just talking a load of rubbish. You must look beyond. What a load of rubbish. And again, you could say about an object or, or a restaurant. Don't go there, a restaurant's rubbish. It is awful. It's like generally rubbish is just something that has poor quality. Proximo bollocks. <laughs> A personal favourite of mine. I like the word bollocks. Bollocks. <laughs> bollocks is a handy word. Uh, it sums up my feelings about... <laughs> it sums up my feelings about a lot of things, to be honest. What a load of bollocks. Bollocks is actually uh, a testicles. What is testicles? Let's have a look. So Google Translate, it translates bollocks to bastero. Bestero. Bestero. Yeah, bestero. That's bollocks. Talking a little bastero. And if that's not correct, um, then tes testiculos. 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 That is bollocks. Hurry up, bridge! We're freezing our bollocks off out here. 
but we use it as when it's something bad, like, uh, yeah, what can I say? Let's think of an example. Okay, I leave the house, I get to the train station and I go, bollocks, I've left my wallet at home. Ah, bollocks, I need to go and get my wallet. Maybe you missed a train. Bollocks, missed a train. So yeah, it's kind of a curse word, um, or if something wasn't very good, maybe you went to see a show at the theater. You say, oh God, that show last night, it's like bollocks on it. Classic British word, used all the time. Give it a go, try it out. Brilliant, brilliant. So this is a word to describe great satisfaction. Apparently it's very British. Oh, hello, Simon. Your parents asked me to check if you're okay. Me? F***ing brilliant. Absolutely f***ing brilliant. But it's kind of a double meaning brilliant because, yes, we do use it. It's like, God, oh, the food was brilliant. Oh, what a brilliant game of football that was. But we also use it sarcastically as well. For example... Chasing men around a field with your top off. What could be more gay than that? You? Brilliant. Or, I drop my coffee on the floor and I look at it and I say, brilliant. Brilliant. It can be used sarcastically, but uh, yeah, we use brilliant a lot. Knackered. Knackered literally means I am tired. I'm bloody knackered today. Absolutely knackered. I need to go to sleep. It's been a knackering day. Make love to me. Uh, Alright, you go and talk though, because I'm knackered. Nothing else but knackered. After a long day at work, I am knackered. Wanker. <laughs> Wanker. <laughs> Wanker. You're the wanker, mate, if anyone is. Technically, the word for masturbation. Again, this should be a funny one to type into Google Translate. Idiota. 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 Idiota in, in Portuguese. The term to wank literally means to masturbate. So to call someone a wanker doesn't necessarily mean that they're masturbating all the time. It ju it's just a derogatory term. It's definitely an insult. It's not a good thing to be a wanker. You don't want to be getting just called a wanker, it's offensive. Slow down a minute, side. Bus wankers! We have this sign as well. <laughs> um, yeah, someone might do this to you, go, you wanker, you wanker, you're driving like a wanker. Not nice, um, but you know. Also, in football matches, a classic song is, the referee is a wanker. <laughs> Yeah, the, the referee will be very familiar with this word wanker because he, he often gets called a wanker. Cheeky. We know about cheeky, right? Cheeky is like when someone is being a bit mischievous. Um, yeah, definitely when someone's being a bit, a bit mischievous, like this person. Lucia Leni Mas Vosi Poje Shame Giamo. Cheeky, cheeky. <laughs> Lucilene, cheeky. Yeah, she was being cheeky. We also use it for like, uh, do you want to go for a cheeky beer? You bump into a mate, you says, let's have a quick one. Come on, cheeky pint. It means like, just a little cheeky beer, you know, just one, just one beer. It's a nice one, cheeky. Use it all the time, it's a lovely word. Bloody. And bloody hell. I'm Quidditch captain too. Bloody hell. The bloody hell was that all about? Yeah, bloody is, very British, you know, it's uh, it's like it's used to emphasise something like bloody hell, the weather's shit again. The weather has been bloody awful, bloody hilarious. Uh, that TV show last night was bloody hilarious. Bloody is literally just used to emphasise something and you can use it anywhere. That was bloody good food last night. I had a bloody good time last night. It can be used positively or negatively. One, go. <laughs> You're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. Pretty much just a word to emphasize. So that leads me to the question for you guys. Can you think of a way of translating any of those phrases, those British phrases into Portuguese? If you can, put them in the comments. Huh? What would you use for bloody? What would you use for cheeky? What would you use for bollocks? What Brazilian slang would you use for rubbish? What Brazilian slang would you use for getting pissed tonight? I'm getting drunk tonight. Show me in the comments. Let me know what you think. Um, enlighten me. Let me know in the comments. Maybe someone can translate these slangs into Portuguese for me and then I can read them back and make another video out of this. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Espero que ten... Espero que tengan gustado tu video. Yeah, video.
Um, don't forget to subscribe, say inscribe, no meal canal, that I'm likey, eat me siggy, no Instagram, Falicom Jake. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Falicom Jake. Post in the comments, you know, translate these slangs. Let's try and do this together. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao.